Hey there everyone and welcome back to another video on a quick and easy tutorial. For this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sculpting tool, specifically the remesh feature in Blender. So the first thing you want to do is to start a new project in Blender. And while you're on the main Blender page, make sure to choose Sculpting as one of the options on the upper tabs. Then you want to select Add, a mesh, and we're going to add a Suzanne Mesh Monkey. Now as you can see, we now have a Suzanne Mesh Monkey displayed on our main design page. We can freely zoom in and rotate the design to whichever way we please. Now, on the upper left corner of your design page, you have a drop-down list of the different modes that you can choose to edit your 3D model. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be choosing Sculpt Mode in order to use the Remesh feature. After choosing Sculpt Mode, we can press the R button by default in order to show a grid to show the exact coordinates of our 3D model. Now, if you go to the upper right corner and click on the Remesh drop-down list, we have a lot of different options like the voxel size, adaptivity, and other preservation features. If you want to see an idea of what we mean when we say voxels, if we click on the upper left corner again and choose the edit mode, you can see each of the corners of the voxels shown on our 3D model. Now, going back to Sculpt Mode, if we go on the left-hand side, we can see all the different tools that we can use in order to freely sculpt our model. For example, we can choose the Clay Strips Option tool in order to add a strip effect on our clay model. Then, we can also choose the Crease Option in order to create more detail and more defined levels on our 3D model. Now, feel free to use the different tools found on the left-hand side and experiment to see what they can do to your 3D model. And that's really all there is to using the freeform sculpting option in Blender. By using the Remesh feature, we can specifically indicate how many voxels we want to indicate and change on our 3D model. And that's really all there is to using the sculpting feature. If you have any other questions or inquiries, feel free to leave them down in a comment below. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. Leave a like if you feel like you learned something new. And subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one.